Rosi, uh, your host. Uh, today uh, I'm with uh, Tracy, Cindy, uh, Cashman, and uh, Carolyn. So basically today it's going to be my own story, what I went through in a relationship that um, has really affected me to date and I really thought I should share it out so that we maybe discuss with you guys. So uh, one year ago I was in a relationship and um, with this guy, I was really in love, you know, when you are, when you are young and you've met this person, you want to be with this person, you are committed to this one person in your life and then uh, one day you, you you catch him in bed with some other lady and yeah it was really like a devastating time in my entire life I've never felt like that so it has really affected me uh, there's a time I feel like now I really want someone and then Nikikatiwa na mtu mtu kuje tuwa nikatia, I'm feeling like, ah no, I'm not doing this with any other guy. So, how can you guys help me really to like, basically move on, start a new relationship, build up. Ama what do you do, what do you guys think went wrong? Ama, e like young relationships just fucked up. Yeah. Okay. No, it's not fucked up. Maybe you can start the story, what really happened, and I'm gonna help you from there. Okay, what happened was, huh? Nilikuwa, nili meet like who boy, some like three years. And then he was my friend. Tukamua, ah, let's take it to another level. So tulikuwa tumeanza tuku date vizuri, vizuri, ilikuwa tu poa. And then, family yaki ilikuwa Nairobi. So, uh, it was nice at the beginning. I can't say it wasn't, it was nice. We were, we, we were like, we really looked good together. So I had this payaki, it really went that far. So there's one weekend he told me he was going home to see his mom in Nairobi. And I was like, oh, fine, it's okay. So we said bye, bye. And then uh, that weekend I was in my house and I don't have a TV yet and he has. So I said, ah, I have this payaki to my babe's house and I usually go there. Like every time if I want to go to, why don't I just go there and relax the whole weekend and then when he comes back, everything will be fine. So I went there and the door was locked as usual. So I just opened the door and what I saw first was a lady's the shoes and his favorite shoes. And these are the, the kind of shoes he never like leaves behind. So when I, I, I saw the shoes, I was like, what is happening with this guy in here? So I had like voices from the bedroom. I, I didn't want to overreact. I just went to the kitchen and uh, I saw there were food they had cooked and uh, they were done eating. So I just uh, took cold water, uh, I drank water and then I headed to the bedroom. I opened the door and uh, there they were. The two of them, they saw me, they were shocked. I didn't know what to do at that time. I honestly didn't know what to do, so. I just saw them and closed the door, took my bag, and uh, I was out. And uh, from that time, my life like has never been the same. I, I, I don't know if I've moved on or I've not moved on, but it still haunts me. I want someone, yes, I've been like single for one year, but I really want someone to be with me and immediately someone comes into my life, I don't want it anymore. I don't want that guy anymore. I don't want, like, I still remember what he did to me, what that guy did to me, so. Now, okay, according to the story that you've told us, huh, up to where we have reached, I've tried to analyze it. How old were you when you fell in love with that guy? I was uh, 20. You were 20, and yeah. how old was he? It was around 24. Okay. And uh, in that period of you people dating, you said you dated for how long? Uh, we, we knew each other for three years before we started dating. So, so you were friends first? Yeah, we were friends. Then you started dating. Mm -hmm. Then uh, you dated for how long after it happened? For almost one year. Before the, the, uh, the yeah. incident. Yeah. So how much do you know your boyfriend? 
I don't know. I honestly don't know. I thought that I knew you. That brings us to a conclusion. You know, if you say you do not know, that means it hadn't gotten to a point where he would tell you the nakedness of his truth. Because if you are in a relationship with somebody like me, I have a girlfriend. She knows everything about me. Everything, to, everything to the core. You understand? So if you people were in a serious relationship, serious relationship up to now, if I asked you how much you knew him, you wouldn't tell me. You, you don't know. Secondly, you it happened. Was he your first love or something? Yeah, he was. So up to where we are right now, what I would tell, please, you just have to compose yourself. Huh? You'll be strong for this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the fact is that guy never loved you. I'm sorry to say this. Because for us men, we can lie. We can really, really lie. When it gets to a point that a man comes to his matrimonial house with another woman, that means he never respected you and never loved you. I can advise you. What you need to do is get yourself together. You're still young. Get yourself together. Concentrate on what you're doing to make yourself a woman of her own. Be the boss of yourself. Who was paying the bills? Who was taking care of the bills, maybe? He was. He was to give you some money? Yeah, yeah, sure. That is the point. Make your own money. When you have everything that is your own, when a man approaches you, he comes with respect. He respects you from the word go to, to the end. But if you are there waiting for your man to come and you're like you're arguing over matchbooks, you're arguing over salt, a man will never respect you. Be a woman of your own. Be strong. Stand with your feet in your family and make sure it goes. And um, I also had a question. Is, is it true that um, a person who knows you the most is uh, the person who usually hurts you? Yeah, it's true. Usually the people who know as much are the people we love most. And the people we love most happens to be that the people that hurt us most. Let me give you an example. If the boyfriend, that your ex-boyfriend, if he didn't comment on your hair when you go to play, how would you feel? Mm -hmm. Feel bad, right? Mm -hmm. That is a very tiny thing, just commenting that you're beautiful or your hair is good. But you'd feel so bad. So imagine if he did something with you and he's the person you love. So when you hear people say the closest people hurt most, it's true. The people we love most hurt us most because we expect so much from them and then they don't deliver. It becomes a heartbreak. Okay, for my point, for you to get here, you need just time. Take yourself together, then hold it, work on yourself, and then you can do the relationship later on. Uh, I've, I've taken like a, a year plus. It's, yeah, it, it was if last year, April. It's not enough. Just continue having more years for you to be yourself and yourself alone. Yeah. What about like that? There sometimes you just feel like you need someone to be there for you. You are lonely, you need company. What can you do okay. in case you need company? Okay, for that case, you can just try to have someone, just try, okay. force to try. Uh, on that point, I can add on. Uh, the loneliness comes because you miss him. Look for somebody that will make you happy. For Look you to for forget the past. Yes. Cindy, we've not talked since we started the show. I just, uh, I think, what I think is that you said before that you haven't talked about anything about this before. I think because you have removed it from your chest, I hope you feel better now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You feel it's really, true. Yeah. yeah, I know. I'm really, really sure that you are going to move on. Yeah. Okay. I hope that. Tracy, what about you? Okay, as for me, I think the reason as to why you're feeling alone is because you thought that you loved him, but in real sense, he didn't. Now he let you down by loving the other lady. But as for girls, you're always jealous. You always want to be loved alone, not someone to love. You. Like, you don't want to share someone, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So, I think that's the reason as to why you always feel it. You always feel lonely. At times, you always sit down and call the moment you are together, yeah? But the moments can't be brought back. So, you just have to accept yourself, compose yourself, and you just move on. And God's time is always the best. Never rush. Don't 
don't always feel like my friends are dating, I'm not dating. Just just be you, yeah? yeah. Your time, God's time is coming the best. Okay, I can add something on top. Don't hurry. Yeah? Don't hurry. You still have time, you're still small. You can just move on, you can cope on well. You you still have your reads. Know that God looks to keep you on the earth. So be you may drop that one that you care of you, you care of you, that will understand you much better than for for you to live a better life. I want, I want to thank you guys for today. I'm really grateful. By the way, I feel like um, a heavy load has just been like taken off. Yes. I've never shared like this story with anyone because I, I felt like, what if I share it with, with someone and uh, maybe not everyone will give you the right advice to move on, yeah. to do your own things, to, 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 be, to be your own boss yeah. or anything. So I really want to thank you guys for today. Yeah, may God bless you for me. Yeah, sharing, sharing is good. I personally have traveled across almost all the continents and have met such cases. But when they share, they open their hearts. When we talk to them, they get back to their normal selves and they continue well. So don't worry, you will be okay. Thank we you, promise thank you that. Thank you. Thank you guys for today. That was my story. Next time it will be maybe someone's story. Feel free to share with us. We can help. We can advise. So until next time, see ya.